Okay, here we are in Photoshop CS4 and I'm going to select a brush and it's huge and I need to resize this so if I hold down the control and option keys I can click and drag left or right to resize the brush on the fly. So let me create a new layer up here. I can like that and if I hold down the control option and command keys I can change the hardness of the brush dragging left it gets very soft dragging all the way right it gets very hard so I can do this like that Okay, I can change the mode of the brush by holding down the control and shift keys and clicking and I'll get this pop-up menu and change the color here to and you can see it has an effect on how it gets painted. So I'll do something like this. Softer. I can go into here. If I change the layer mode, mm, see how and like that. And each time I go over, I'll be intensifying what I'm painting. Okay. If you click on the layer that's highlighted, or click on any layer, you can drag it to any other position in the layer hierarchy here. Let me just drop that down here. And for this shortcut, I'm going to hold down the Option key click on the layer and drag it to a new position anywhere else in the hierarchy here and I'll just drop it there for right now so you can duplicate and move all in one throw by holding down the option key and clicking and dragging the layer to a new position in the layer palette Okay, now moving over to CS5, I'm going to create a couple of layers here. Uh, Adobe changed how this works a little bit. So to change the brush size, I'm going to hold down the control and option keys. And I move back and forth to control the size, but still holding down control and option. If I move up and down, I change the hardness. So I'm going to do this, change the size, and the same thing. Okay, like that. Very fast, very quick, very convenient. Now what CS5 has that is really cool is if you hold down the control option and command keys and click, you get a color picker. That is so cool. Let's see, I'm going to go for a kind of a medium blue, come out here, and start painting. Now if you hold down the control and shift and click on the image, then you get this pop-up menu, just like in CS4. So I'm going to switch this over to hard light and start changing, painting over the color on this layer in hard light mode which means every time I go over it, I'm adding a little bit more in places, intensifying things I like that. And still, I can change this mode over here again to use as the background blend. And OK. 
and that's it. A couple of very cool shortcuts. You can still do this. Oh, the other shortcut. Um, I open this image as a JPEG, and it loads up in Photoshop all versions as a background, and it's locked. And everywhere else you go, they'll say you double click on this and you select OK from this pop up dialog, which is a complete waste of time. If you hold down the Option key again and just double click on the layer, it automatically changes the background into a regular layer and then it can be duplicated. So there you have some very quick, very cool easy to use, easy to remember shortcuts to get around in Photoshop um, changing the brush sizes it's very convenient for uh, people who only use um, the mouse for drawing and stuff to be able to get in and just change the size real quick change the size change the size like that and the hardness Change the size. All right. So the addition of the color palette in CS5. This is just amazing. I love this. There we go. And I'll go a little more orange. A little more orange. It's going to take a little practice to get used to that, but. Oh. Very cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these tips, um, and I hope they're very helpful for you.